Father. I can't even put it into words. The short version, <laughs> it's never short when I praise you. I mean, I could just say thank you and cry and that's the short version, but I just love how you love me. And this morning I just popped up and Siri said it was 12 degrees and I'm thinking, okay, when should I go see my son? And you say right now. So I put a load of laundry in, I got dressed and I went outside and just from the, the frigid temperatures, tears just started coming out of my eyeballs. I couldn't even open the car or the trunk, it was so cold. But I was so grateful, so grateful you woke me up and so grateful you started my car. And yes, I did head to Forestville. And yes, you did give me this one right here at the stoplight and the journey began. The journey began before the foundation of the world, but the penny journey began because after I prayed with my precious son in the name of Jesus, that your perfect will be done in our family and in this nation and in every household across the globe. Yes, we did pray in Jesus name. And yes, you did hear us and yes, you are working. Then you gave me some pennies at the McDonald's. Then you gave me some pennies at the fast stop. Then you gave me some pennies at the grocery store. And then you gave me some more pennies and more pennies. And God, more than rubies, more than diamonds, more than this beautiful penny adventure that you and I have together because you know the motives of my heart. It is not about these coins on the coin, on the money that we can idolize, it says in God we trust. Do you trust God? Because if you trust God, one penny, one penny, if he chose to give you one penny and not a hundred dollars, not a million dollars, not a billion dollars, not 50 cents, not a nickel, not a dime, not a quarter, not a 50 cents piece, not a two dollar bill. If you trust God, because the money says in him we do trust. His word says in Psalm 112, verse 7, those who steadfastly trust in the Lord shall not fear bad news. God, thank you for the encouragement you gave me on Waiva today that the Christians need to get ready. Get ready. We will be persecuted. Yes, we will, but we will escape the wrath of God because we heard the gospel message and we repented and we responded. And we have been purchased and redeemed. God, my prayers for those who don't yet know this Savior, that today, tomorrow, they would unwrap this, per this beautiful, beautiful gift and they would not delay. Your word says, do not harden your hearts when you hear the message. God, anybody living today in 2022, see this dark, deceitful, self-preserving, selfie world, self-gratifying, self-pleasing, self, 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 self-entitled. Self, self it's disgusting. God, you are weeping. This is not how it's supposed to be. It was not like this in the garden. And you are trying to restore man back to yourself. And so many are rejecting your son. But so many are coming to faith. I can't see everything that you see. But I will not cease to pray in Jesus' name. I love you. I thank you. I thank you. I love you. God, thank you for having mercy on me and my family. Thank you for using me. God, I had so much shame in the past, a teenage mom, a GED, a high school dropout, uneducated, just trying to make it, living in survival. And Jesus broke my chains. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all shame is broken. All pain, all pain is comforted. All hope is restored eternally gratefully forever I can't wait to see your face God when I was getting out of the car and walking in here I was like one day I'm not going to get out of that car one day I won't be going to church to rejoice one day I won't be walking into this building one day I'm going to be with you prepare me and get me ready but most importantly prepare my loved ones in Christ's name I pray I love you thank you thank you love you Love you forever and ever. Amen. Merry Christmas, God. Happy Christmas Eve. And God, please don't let the churches fill up with visitors and family members and distant relatives. Let the church fill up with repentance. Let hearts cry out in repentance, pleading with you to forgive them, to save them, to love them, to teach and instruct them, and to get them ready for the end, for the hour is upon us. In Jesus' name, amen.